Okay, we're off the, the stationary bike stand. The front battery packs are heavier than the motor um, by a bit so that the front wheel rests on the ground, which is good. And now I'm going to fight this thing up the stairs, adjust the seat, and see about uh, giving it a test drive. Got my handy dandy bear spray just in case there's pit bulls on the attack. <laughs> That stuff saved my ass before. Okay, now time to wrestle this puppy up the stairs. Man, I see why they call this thing a brute. I was just going up a really steep hill, not this one. But, uh, but the thing was almost faster than I could pedal at top gear. I am very happy with this thing. Okay, this is a uh, truly brutal hill with all kinds of warning signs on it and I'm going to try going up this hill so here goes Whoa. okay here we go not even pedaling five miles an hour Six point seven miles per hour. <laughs> Still have four LEDs for the uh, battery. Okay. <laughs> I'm inclined to agree with the people who manufacture it. This thing is a brute. Ten miles per hour up the hill, not pedaling. And if I don't hold on, I might just fall. <laughs> and down to the park. And down to my favorite park. The motor does have a slight drag factor to it because it's got brushes, <clears throat> so it does slow me down a touch, but um, it's not too bad. Jiminy friggin' Christmas! This thing is insane! <laughs> this, is a, this thing isn't a bicycle anymore, it's a motorcycle! <laughs> oh my goodness! Um, I just went on a, on a trip. It's only, granted, it's only a little over five miles, but, uh, but man, it's got hills, hills, hills! Um, and it's enough to kick my butt even on even on my old Bionics um, pedal assist system. It's a 350 watt system. But man, with this uh, this brute, <laughs> man, I wouldn't even have had to have pedaled up those hills except to keep up appearances. <clears throat> and I did that whole trip which would have kicked my butt, and in fact, I am kind of tired. <laughs> I haven't ridden a bike for a couple of years. But, um, but basically, um, I still have 76 volts, and this is supposed to be a 72-volt system, but the charger drop raises it up to 80 volts, and apparently there's a little wiggle room in it, but it's advertised as a 72-volt system. But after that whole trip with all those friggin' hills and and all that, I still have 76 volts in the uh, gas tank, and I still have four LEDs. Man, I was concerned that this uh, bicycle might not be able to do it for my commute um, to work. It's only 12, I mean, it's 12 miles. <clears throat> not a lot of hills here 
except close to my condo. Um, so basically, um, man, I don't believe I'll have a problem at all. And in fact, there's a possibility that I might not even bother bringing the charger with me. And I'll just ride down there because it's, well, it's not very strenuous. It's mostly downhill. But um, but basically, uh, geez, let me tell you, <laughs> I'll be able to commute on this thing for pennies. Um, whereas, you know, normally my gas, I mean, my gas bill isn't very high because I, I live like, uh, pardon my ugly face here, <laughs> I live like uh, 12 miles away from work and maybe 12 times 5, not a heck of a lot of mileage, um, plus a few trips to the grocery store, not much. Um, but basically, uh, this thing is going to do it for me, I think. <laughs> and when gas really starts getting expensive, as I expect it will, will um, this little puppy here will save me some money. And that might just be the time when I start getting short of money, too. Okay, industry and everything dries up. Um, there is one thing that I did learn, um, and that's if I have the controller inside the, uh, the thing and zipped up, it gets pretty darn hot. I mean, I could touch it, and I can't hold my hand on it, so that's like probably... 130, 140 degrees, and that's not good for electronics. So from now on, when I'm riding up some steep hills and whatnot, I'll just open this thing up. I'll secure these wires a little better with wire ties. And, uh, and then basically, this puppy will be my daily commuter when gas gets expensive. <clears throat> and probably sometimes, you know, even when I'm not... <laughs> when gas isn't expensive. I'll tell you one thing though, I suspect I'm going to have to, uh, I've got some brake residue here, because I, I was going down that brutal friggin' hill super fast, <laughs> and while I was filming I was like kind of holding the brake with one hand, so I was only using one brake, but man, uh, I can see why they recommend disc brakes with these systems. Um, I'm going to have to actually, for the first time in my life, <clears throat> order a stock of brake pads for a bicycle <laughs> because uh, I these things will not last forever at this rate of usage. Hmm. Yeah, I am very, very happy. Now, I'll tell you one thing. <clears throat> I won't get a super amount of cardio with this thing <laughs> unless... Just to keep up appearances, I'll be pedaling at a good clip, and um, but I will be able to travel much faster for the given amount of force that I apply to the pedals. And that will be cool. Well, I ran it over a bunch of speed bumps and shocks and uh, and divots and, and uh, those big yellow gi giant speed bumps. <laughs> and I don't see any evidence of the of the thing bending and it looks like my cushioning effect is or my cushioning uh, setup is working so I do believe I'm gonna be good and I got my bear spray I think I will switch this around to left-handed bear spray mode because I will want to uh, sorry <laughs> I will want to uh, be able to handle the throttle with my right hand and yank the uh, bear spray like so. There's the then yank it and deploy it as necessary with my left hand. And <laughs> I don't know with this bike, <laughs> there's a pretty darn good chance that I might be able to outrun your average fenced-in pit bull <laughs> or fence pit bull because those guys are not speed demons, and this puppy can go about 26 miles per hour. <laughs> Now that is nothing compared to the cruiser um, mode that they have. They have like, uh, they have a couple of, I bought it from Electric Rider, and they have a couple of different uh, hubs for it, and one of them is the cruiser, and this one here though is called the Brute for real serious hill climbing. 
Um, with this frame, I don't want to go over 26 miles per hour, and in fact, that's pushing it. <laughs> um, I generally am happy with like 15 or so. But, uh, but with their cruiser and, and their mountain bike setup, uh, one, of, one person was actually going 50 miles per hour. 50. That's like... And he was wearing a motorcycle helmet. <laughs> you could see it in his shadow. But, uh, man, let me tell you, I am friggin' happy. <laughs> yeah, the uh, I had a sealed lead-acid battery set up before. Um, and those batteries were just too heavy. I couldn't, could not make it work. Um, Side note, um, from when I'm editing this video together, um, I don't believe that the uh, sealed lead acid batteries are a good fit for the uh, 700C wheeled frame. This is like a, uh, like a uh, road bike and it's not really, really robust. Now, it might, the sealed lead acid 72 volt system might work on some kind of modified mountain bike, um, but as far as this big, uh, big tall thing, um, when the batteries were on it, it, the whole thing just seemed really rickety. Um, it just didn't seem uh, safe. So I went ahead and uh, <laughs> I kind of put it on the back burner and left it in the back room for about a year. <laughs> and um, then when the sealed, le then when the lithium ion batteries came out, um, I asked about upgrade options and. The uh, the uh, people over at Electric Rider gave me a nice deal. Um, I guess because they they didn't feel good that I wasn't happy with the product, <laughs> so um, so they fixed me up with a controller and and I uh, bought the batteries and a few other things and uh, I gotta say I'm happy now. So uh, so basically I don't think that the sealed lead acid batteries are good are a good fit for the big tall bicycles but I suspect that they would work just fine on smaller lower down uh, mountain bike style bicycles so that's the little side note the ba the whole bike even with the front mounting system that I set up even then the battery the the vehicle was very shaky and uh, when I turned suddenly it wanted to uh, jerk me off balance and it just was not an option for me <clears throat> but this 72 volt lithium ion setup it rides like a dream now it doesn't ride as smoothly as a bicycle but that might also be because I'm going probably on average going faster than a bicycle most bikes <laughs> so from now on okay the only the only um, issue I've seen with it so far is that this thing is get, gets too hot to touch only even now it's it's hot enough that I really don't want to hold my hand on it so um, if I had a lot of really nasty hills or even the ones that I have I will um, pop that thing open and ride and allow the wind to uh, cool the unit alrighty well Gotta say, worth the investment. We'll see how much gas I save. I'm gonna figure it out by the odometer, how many uh, miles I sa or how many dollars I save in gas. So this is that's all we got. Later. Well, the only downside <laughs> of this bike is that I was riding along. Um, going faster than I really thought I was going and suddenly boosh right up ahead of me there was this giant swarm of bugs and they went splat and I went oh god <laughs> so uh, when you're going fast beyond a certain speed um, bugs can't get out of your way fast enough <laughs> and then black <laughs> they're bouncing off my glasses and man it was pretty intense <laughs> other than that I'm very happy with it. <laughs>